Breaking news, live TV, folks. This is just in. Uh, so I've confirmed, and we got it officially confirmed through the spokesperson with Monterey County Superior Courts that both verdicts for Paul and Ruben Flores will be read inside this courthouse today at 1:30. Yesterday, you might recall the jury for Ruben Flores put in that verdict. It's been sealed in an envelope until today, within the last 15 minutes, when Paul Flores's jury came to a decision themselves. Both will be read in court. One doesn't inform the other. This 15 week trial with more than 24 jurors from the start, including alternates, they've now landed on that decision for the Smart family. This is 26 years in the making. A story we've literally been covering since the very first day that she went missing. And now the Smart family feels like they're going to have some of those answers. We've heard that over and over again. Uh, again, this is very much breaking news. News in and confirmed in the last five minutes. We will get those verdicts at 1.30 today for Paul and Ruben Flores, both charged in connection with Kristen's disappearance 26 years ago. Yes, Paul, the son charged in the murder, and then the father, Ruben, charged with covering it up or, or hiding the body. And the body has never been found. This is quite a case, a legal study. And again, two separate juries deliberating in two separate cases where Either jury doesn't know what is going on in either courtroom. We had a juror that was dismissed for talking to his priest. I mean, this is really a, an interesting case study legally. And again, on an emotional note, one like you mentioned, 26 years of waiting and wanting to know. What is the vibe like? What is the, the feeling like at the courthouse right now, Madison? Yeah, there's a frantic energy. It's felt very frantic when we first got word about 25 minutes ago. Most media members are sitting upstairs in the hallway right outside the courtroom doors. We saw movement. Uh, we saw some jurors moving around. We saw a bailiff taking uh, papers in a basket. Now, none of that means anything until now. Of course, we know they have that verdict. Uh, kind of looking around here to see who's outside. Family members are likely going to start showing up. The smart family has been living in this area. We're in Monterey County, Salinas, uh, almost three hours here from Stockton. And there was a GoFundMe that started way back when the trial was moved here to allow the Smart family to live in this area for the duration of what's been now a three-month trial, even a little over that with jury selection, so that they could be at the courthouse every day, not just as witnesses, but also, of course, supporting their daughter here throughout this. So uh, the best word I could use to describe it is frantic. Yes, Madison, thank you for being on top of this. Of course, we'll bring you any new information that comes into light during this newscast. We'll catch up with you a little bit later on. Of course, Madison will be live there 4, 5, and 6, as you heard, that that will be released just after 1 o'clock. We appreciate your hard work on this, Madison, and we'll follow back up with you in just a little bit.